So it's the final starter's orders seven hurdle qualifier this time. And I think we've got a fairly big field for this one. Two miles and a quarter this time. And you can see the electric fence has been lit up there. Look, um, Pazza Cane clashes at the top two and a quarter miles this time. And we're not going to get a card. And away we go. And here the electric fence has just been turned off. Way, oh, here we go. We're going to run this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, goodness me, what a calamity that was to start with. Poor one, Akimoto Senator, he's out of the race as well. And the electric fence is going on and off like nobody's business. They just went on fast forward and um, we'll sort ourselves out in a minute, I think. And um, your line of over, is in the lead. I'm going to wait till that electric fence is gone because you can't help but notice it, can you? Uh, it's a line of over, who is about five lengths clear. What's going to happen next? Uh, Albadora Casbar has moved through into second, then Baroness Group and Norcroft Mountains. So we've got three in exactly the same colour, second, third, and fourth as well. So this could be the race of the week, couldn't it? And as they get to the third, and the leader, a line of Avery, decided to run straight through it. So let's try and figure out who we've got. We've got a line of Avery in the lead for Alex Cherry. We've got Capable Cardington in second for me, and then we've got three in the green with the red cap that's Norcroft Mountain, Barons Group and Albadora Casbar and they could belong to James Shea or Thomas Rogers I think will take your pick from any of them I think and David Robertson's got Patacake Clash in those turquoise and maroon hoops he's already lost Akimoto Centre that's gone Graham Clutterbuck's Welsh flag colours right over on the far side as they take number five belong to Colebrook Answer then the green with the yellow and the black and red cap is Fiorenti for Paul Rhodes. Then we've got Broughton Zorro. Oh, that one, he's going to be Thomas Rogers, I think. And then the grey is La Paz 4 for Vinnie Gerard. And then we've got a Darren Thompson horse there, Dave's Baron. That's the maroon one with the white sleeves. Another Alex Cherry runner is Tessery Flores in the orange sleeves. And then the back marker is the second one in the purple jacket that's classy but this time it's David Hoodie so I think we've got them all pretty much as right as we can as they get to number six and they're all safely over number six and we're going at normal pace now not fast forwarding anymore and the liner Avery gets to this next flight and gets over it in the lead with a five length lead and three in a line then Norcroft Mountain, Baron's Group and Capable Cardington. Then comes Days Baron and Patacake Clash. They're already inside the final mile. And Elina Avery is clear in front. To Baron's Group and Norcroft Mountain. And Capable Cardington is fourth. Days Baron is fifth. Classy is making a good looking run through as well as they take number eight. And the electric fence is half electric, electric at the top and not at the bottom, so you can sneak under it. Not that bit there, look. And it's Elina over in the lead, coming down to the ninth, which they all get over. Classy is the one that's really making eye catching progress. The black horse with the purple jacket now on the near side, but it's Elina over that's still in the lead. The Baron's group is second, Classy is third, then Norcroft Mountain and Capable Carlington. Fiorent is on the outside. Albadora Casbar is trying to get into it, so is La Paz 4, but it's a line of Avery, the one they've got to get to. Baron's group, Norcroft Mountain, and Classic are the ones who look most likely to do that. They get over to third last, but a line of Avery's kicked on again and leads by three. It's a line of Avery, a line of four of them chasing hard now. Albadora Caspar coming up on the outside to throw down a big challenge as they come down towards the second last. And Albadora Caspar jumped that really well. So too did Norcroft Mountain. And it's Albadora Caspar who goes on with two furlongs to go. And Albadora Caspar is the new leader. A line of Avery is now dropping back in second. Then comes Norcroft Mountain, Colbrook Hunter is coming into it as well, they've only got one more flight to take and it's Albadora Casbar looking like it's probably only going to jump it to win it Albadora Casbar looks full of running is in fact pulling away, skips over the final flight, gets away from it well Fiorente's finishing well but not fast enough to catch Albadora Casbar and Albadora Casbar takes it from Norcross Mountain second in Fiorente and La Paz 4 and Tessery Flores and all the way back to capable Carlington who wasn't all that capable today and Albadora Casbar and Norcroft Mountain 1 and 2 it's typical that they're 1 and 2 <laughs> 2 that we couldn't tell you exactly who the trainer was <laughs> let's have a look and see somebody knows what well, two people know because the person who is knows and the person who isn't knows as well so Albadora Casbar takes it in for Thomas Rogers Norcroft Mountain for James Shea was second Fiorenti for Paul Rhodes was third La Paz 4 for Vinnie Gerard was fourth and Tessery Flores for Alex Cherry 
Wolf's Fifth. <laughs> 